OK, so I'm going to demonstrate a uh, kind of scale exercise with a triplet rhythm. I'm get this camera set up properly with a kind of a triplet rhythm and uh, an overlapping pattern. So you're going to play in triplets. And then for a major scale, you'll have this overlapping pattern. And in the end, you'll get something that's kind of like this. So this is a great exercise for getting your picking going and for getting your fingers going as well. And then it's a good source of just licks that sound pretty cool. Okay, so what did I do there? So the first you need to make sure you know how to play in a triplet rhythm. So if you're just playing in like a regular uh, quarters. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or maybe a bit slower. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's, you know, just a regular rhythm with fours, but you can also instead play in threes. So three strokes for every beat. So if the rhythm is like this, then you would play three strokes for each one of these beats like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And make sure you emphasize the one on each of these uh, iterations. So. Uh, one two three 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 one okay um, yeah this is just a nice rhythm okay and then if you play the major scale with so first with like the quarters rhythm is just and then but if you play this with triplets something like this and then I kind of end with uh, just to have the number of strokes line up with the the threes okay and then to do um, the triplet overlap what you're doing is so you're playing three notes and then backtracking one so one two three and then back one one two three and then back one to here one two three and then back one to here one two three and then back one okay so once you're here then you go back one to here and then back one And then once you're at the end, then you go backwards. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh one, two, three, one, two, three. Something like that. Um Okay, so you're playing these triplets. With going so up three and then back one so one two three back one two three back one two three etc okay so there i played it with kind of a, a rhythm in fours but then now i'll do it with triplets so a bit uh, slower and then At the end, I just kind of throw in some random thing to have it line up uh, at the end. But yeah, the critical thing is that you're playing in threes and you're emphasizing the right notes in this triplet rhythm. So, okay. Okay, and then you can also do this with the pentatonic scale. So uh, the pentatonic scale is just. Basically, you can play the blues if you just stick to this scale. Okay, so that's the blues, the pentatonic scale. So and you can 
also do the triplet overlap here, so. Okay, and also these notes are included, so. And over here. So these correspond to these notes, which also repeat again right there. Okay, so. Are more notes in the scale, and the the uh, triplet overlap serves as like a great way to come up with licks involving the uh, pentatonic scale. So basically, using like the patterns from the uh, triplet overlap. Okay, or. Uh, okay, so you know. Maybe you can't just whip them out so easily. It takes a little bit, of, um, a little bit of practice to do each one, but it's a great source of licks. So. Okay, and then you can also kind of come up with like different overlapping patterns. So you could also do uh, like quadruplet overlap. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then going um, backwards through the scale, I've always found much easier and also sounds pretty cool, so. So that's with quarters, the triplets is like this. And then trip, or uh, quadruples. Uh, uh, yeah. So these are also uh, good sources of licks. Okay, um, what else can I say? Okay, I guess maybe I don't actually have that much else to say, but maybe I'll leave you with a, uh, an exercise. So um, there's another way to play the major scale. If you start on the uh, C here, for instance, and you play it in this pattern. This is another good like way to play the major scale for practice because you have this kind of jump. And you want to try to make this jump with your hand sound as smooth as possible. So you're jumping from here and then all the way to here. So you have your ring finger and then your index finger and then jump to your ring finger and then index finger again. So. And then on the forward direction, you're jumping from your index finger and your ring finger to your index finger and your ring finger again. So now the exercise is to figure out how to play the triplet overlap in this scale. So I'll start the first bit. Uh, and then also at the end, well, let me, let me do it a couple times. Okay, so that's the first bit. And then at the end, you'll also have something like this. And now, to you, dear watcher, you can try to figure out how to play the triplet overlap um, for this scale as well. And then, you know, you should practice the other ones. Try to uh, make sure you can um, copy what I did, and then they're just fantastic exercises. So when I was in high school and I practiced like a lot more than I do now, kind of what I did um, every day is I would play like various scales up and down the entire neck of the guitar and one of them was this uh, triplet overlap. So I would start uh, at uh, F here and then play the pentatonic scale uh, in the triplet overlap. Um, Etc. all the way up and down, and then move to F sharp, and then do it again, and then move to G, and then do it again, until all the way up to the end here. And then, uh, and then all the way back down. So you'll find that, you know, it's good to practice 
all these scales on these frets as well because these frets are so tiny. I can barely fit all of my four fingers onto four frets here. So it's a lot different and more intricate to play uh, these scales up here than it is here. So you should practice playing these things all the way up and down the neck. And you can just fit in the triplet overlap into practically any other exercise, any other scale, um, quadruple overlap, fives, like quintuplet overlap, whatever you want, you know, get creative. As long as, uh, yeah, if it's hard, then you know it's making you better. So have fun and good luck.